The old fishing net was floating at a depth of 3,000 meters, where the sun's light could not penetrate. The net was used to gather small fish for bait to catch bigger fish. But this time, the fishermen had caught something unusual. It was an octopus fish. People sometimes call it a dumpling fish or a blue dragon fish. It is also known as a ninja fish because it can change its skin color like a chameleon. This octopus fish was very big. It was about one meter long and weighed seven kilograms. It has a big head and eight tentacles. Its eyes were bulging and it looked scared. When the fish was pulled out of the water, all the people around started to scream. They took pictures and videos of the scary fish. After that, the fisherman threw the fish back into the sea. He didn't want to keep such a dangerous fish. This octopus fish lives in the Atlantic Ocean from North Carolina to Brazil, as well as in the Eastern Pacific Ocean from Korea to Mexico. In some places, it is called a blue dragonfish because of its bluish skin and whisker-like feelers. An octopus fish can be identified by the shape of its head, which resembles that of an octopus. However, it is not related to octopuses. This fish belongs to a family of ray-finned fishes, a group of fishes that includes over 30,000 species, including tuna, salmon, goldfish, and carp. All these fish have fins and gills, and even though they are cold-blooded, they still need to keep moving to be able to live since they get their oxygen from the water through their gills. But how do scientists know that this fish is not an octopus? Well, they just look at its skeleton. If it doesn't have one, then it's not a fish. Only sharks, rays, and some other cartilaginous fish have skeletons made entirely of cartilage. The rest of the fish have skeletons made of bones. The skeleton of the octopus fish is very much like that of other fish. In general, this fish has quite a lot in common with other fish. Like many others, it has two eyes where the pupils can dilate to help it see better in low light conditions. Its mouth is surrounded by lips, and inside there are sharp teeth for catching prey. It also has fins and swims in the same way as most other fish, by moving its body and tail from side to side. But the main similarity between the octopus fish and other fish is how they breathe. The fish breathes dissolved oxygen in water using its gills. Octopuses don't have gills. Instead, they have special sacs under their arms filled with blood vessels. They use these sacs to absorb oxygen from the water around them. On the outside, the octopus fish looks a bit like an octopus but inside it's built more like a regular fish. Maybe that's why it's so good at swimming like a fish, unlike an octopus. The octopus fish's scales are rough and feel like sandpaper, which protects them from injury when fighting other fish for food. But what is it exactly that they eat? These fish are predators. They feed on small fish and hunt bottom dwellers like sea urchins and starfish. Most likely they also eat crustaceans, worms, and mollusks. The octopus fish's diet depends on where it lives. For example, off the coast of California, octopus fish eat mostly sardines and anchovies, while off the coast of Japan, they eat baby squid. To find food, the octopus fish uses its large eyes, which can detect even the slightest movement of potential prey. After that, it swims after the victim, and when it gets close enough, it opens its mouth wide and swallows it. The octopus fish has no bones, so it can swallow prey larger than its head. Once the food is inside, powerful jaws begin to grind it, turning it into a soft mass, and then the stomach continues its work. As you can probably already guess, the octopus fish is not considered an endangered species. On the contrary, it is very common in almost every part of the world. Scientists have estimated that there are more than two billion of these fish in the world's oceans, Despite the fact that the octopus fish is quite large, it is still quite elusive. Most often it is found at depths of 200 to 1,000 meters. It prefers areas with sandy or muddy bottoms where many invertebrates live, which it feeds on. It is believed that the maximum depth where the octopus fish can be found is 2, 740 meters. The octopus fish can only be found in salt water, but it can tolerate a wide range of salinity levels. That's why it can be found in both the open ocean and in coastal areas. The octopus fish is a very ancient species. It first appeared in the oceans about 145 million years ago. During all this time, it managed to adapt to any changes in the environment. And now it successfully coexists with other species of fish and other sea creatures.
But the octopus fish has no enemies. Such large and predatory fish as sharks don't touch it. It can only be hunted by humans. This fish is too bony to be worth eating, so it is usually thrown back into the sea. The octopus fish is not poisonous, so there is no danger in accidentally eating it. It's just that nobody wants to mess with these bones. However, this fish is sometimes caught in fishing nets along with other fish and then sold in markets. But it's not some kind of delicacy, so you won't find it in expensive restaurants. Occasionally, the octopus fish can be seen near the surface of the water, especially after a storm. Then it has a chance to get closer to the shore in search of new hunting grounds. But if you see this fish in the wild, it's better to stay away from it. Although the octopus fish is not aggressive towards humans, it can bite if it feels threatened. And although its bite is not venomous, it will definitely hurt. The octopus fish has been described as curious and intelligent. They say that if you take it out of the water, it will try to find its way back. And when it sees a person, it does not swim away, but on the contrary, swims closer to get a better look. It is said that the octopus fish is so smart that if it is kept in captivity, it will soon learn to recognize its owner and come to the surface when it hears his voice. However, there is no point in keeping an octopus fish at home. Not only does it require a large aquarium, but it also needs to be fed live fish, which is quite expensive. This fish is perfectly adapted for life in the sea. It has streamlined shape and powerful fins that allow it to swim fast and maneuver easily. Octopus fish can swim up to 12 kilometers per hour. They can maintain their position in the water column using their pectoral fins while using their powerful tails to move forward. Thanks to their speed and maneuverability, octopus fish are great hunters. They can easily chase down their prey and catch it. The octopus fish has a lot of enemies in the ocean. That's why it is forced to constantly improve its swimming skills. The lifespan of an octopus fish is about 10 years. In nature, they usually live up to six, but sometimes they can live up to 10 years if kept in an aquarium. Although the octopus fish is not a rare species, scientists know very little about it. Even its exact number is unknown. Also, scientists still haven't figured out how the octopus fish got its name. After all, it's not an octopus. Perhaps it's just because of the shape of its head. In any case, whatever it is called, this fish is very interesting to watch. So if you have the chance, be sure to see it. That's all for today. See you later.